my youtube channel uh, today's session is uh, like uh, how to place a cable trace support in a rivet okay so if you like my video please subscribe my channel so this is the one of the cable trace support family so this one i need to implement in our drawing okay so how it, it will show it will work i will show you so just load into the project so this was loaded into the project okay so we will go there in the family section the cable tray fittings okay so you will be get like a cable tray support from here so just to drag it and place it in the center of the uh, cable tray and then what we can do oh, sorry what we can do just pin it this one in the okay so then then just uh, select the cable tray and you can get the um, support uh, width and uh, length okay so what we can do here just you know, see um, like uh, the cable tray size is around 600 okay 600 okay so then uh, then what, what we need to do after that just uh, we'll say like this one is 650 okay then go to the section go to view so you can see the cable trays came over here okay so just uh, mention you can mention the height uh, okay otherwise you can just move it this one okay near to the cable tray where you place it okay then um, we just move it down from here just move it down up to here and just need to give a more width around 750 so this will the gap will be uh, you can get the gap around uh, 50 okay from the both side you will be get to 50 okay so otherwise you just need to give a 700 also even you need to maintain the same gap, gap between here you can maintain that one okay so 525 25 you can maintain okay so for example i am just to move it to here and just uh, moving this one to 25 so you can maintain equal distance uh, in both side and once you place it, that one this is our slab level, like a bottom level you just uh, uh, in, we have only three layer of cable tray so we need only three parts so what we can do just uh, from the property you can turn off the things okay uh, okay so we got the three layer and we can just uh, drag it up to here so the cable tray uh, uh, support will fix on this lab okay so this one this gap we need to find it okay so how much gap between this two cable tray you just need to find it that one 200 and this one is around 400 okay so just maintain that 600 okay so that will be fixed over there and this one need to be come up to 400 just uh, sorry this gap it's uh, around how much the, the distance from here to here is around uh, 300 so just uh, maintain that one uh, first one is 300 so it will fix over there okay so the, the cable ties are fixed in the support okay so just go to the 3d you can see the cable tray support are here and once you've done that one you can need to copy this one copy and we need to give as per our dimension if for example 1500 distance i am giving so one cable tray support fix over there and another one you can give the same way cable tray um, 1500 okay so like that we can arrange the cable tray support and we will go there and we need to uh, show for he uh, give to here also one support so just copy this one you can give that to, that over here and you can give the support for this one uh, just need to be in the center okay then you just go to the 3d view uh, you have two uh, spare parts okay so just you need to be uh, remove that one just remove one and two okay so then uh, what we can do just move this one inside okay then move this one up to the cable tray and you can stretch up to this uh, length of the uh, length of the support you can reduce it that okay so like that we we are arranging the cable tray support the same way you can do uh, do it here also I'll start from here okay so just need to be fixed up to here go to view 
it was fixed our uh, fixed here so we need to adjust little bit more okay so just need to be a two layer cable tray only so just need to be uh, adjust that one so you need to check the dimensions from here to here how much 200 so just give this one the first one is 200 so it will fix over there and you can have, uh, you can uh, remove one of the support and you can just give like this and you just need to be adjust in the center to the cable tray and we need to just give a little bit uh, i think this is this was okay so just uh, uh, whatever it's previously it was correct okay uh, it was correct and just go to the 3d view how it's look so it's look like uh, the cable tray support will uh, the hanger support it's fixed to the cable tray so you can copy this thing and you can put it uh, wherever you need the, as per the distance calculation you can give the distance this is the way we are uh, uh, supporting the cable tray uh, for uh, each cable tray so here uh, we can do the same way so we'll just uh, need to be uh, rotate this one just place it over here and just see how it's work so the cable tray uh, are fixed over there and the cable tray support fixed over there and you can just uh, copy these things around your distance like that 1500 this is the way we are placing the cable tray support in the rivet if you need uh, someone uh, need this uh, cable tray support please contact me i'll share to you so this will be make sense for you then please subscribe my channel it's totally related to AutoCAD and Rivet. Thanks for watching. Thank you.